Hey guys, it's Judy. You guessed it. It's a Dollar Tree haul. I know I have been filmed in a long time. It feels like quite a while from going to, I think I was at times doing two to three videos a week to like nothing. Sorry guys. But like I said, I've been trying to cut down on going to Dollar Tree though. I know you guys love it when I go. And, um, but this Dollar Tree haul, I think it might be two separate trips from last week or the week before last. So I've been kind of finding the right time to do it. So first off, um, I picked these up. These are um, Sandcastle Beach Buckets, you can tell. They're really nice. They have like different ones. They have the round ones, but I like this because... Well, I don't know how good it will make castles, but I thought it's like a two-in-one type of thing. Like, um, build the castle shape, um, as well as a bucket. But there are a lot of, like, little grooves. So, I mean, hopefully it will be good for making sand castles. So, um, it comes with a little shovel, which is real tiny. So I don't know how good that is, but these seem pretty durable. They're not like that flimsy like some of the buckets are that come with bigger handles. So I chose the more sturdy one. I'm rambling on about these um, beach things. But anyways, um, for I figured I got a bunch of these for um, my son's class for kind of like the end of the year party. So I figured, at first I was going to try to see if I can do like the vinyl to put their names on it. Then I realized, wait, it's really textured. So I don't think it'll stick that well unless I do it up here. So I don't know if I should even bother putting their names over there. But um, anyway, I mean, it's always nice to get personalized stuff. But I don't know if it will stick well, or even on this. But anyway, so to fill the baskets, I picked up a three-pack of bubbles. So these were a dollar each, three-pack, so a dollar. And then also picked up some water guns as well. These are probably cheapo, but I mean, I figured, you know, end-of-the-year gift, each kid... It'll cost a dollar sixty-six to include the bucket, a gun, and um, just one gun and one bubble. So I thought that would be like a nice gift package. Oops. So the only colors they had were the pink and the green. So I picked up however many I needed for that for the class. Um, also, they have these. These are back, I love these things for snacks, <laughs> even for crafts and stuff. This comes three in a pack. I think sometimes, I think it's usually two, but this is a bonus, an extra container. So I got that. Let's see what else I got. Um, stationary stuff. I needed a planner kind of thing. And this goes from 2017 to 18, and it starts in January. Because, you know, I have one of those student ones, kind of, so it ends in July or whatever it is. And then, so my calendar is, like, up. So I actually need the rest of the year. So I got that. I found this. I think I found it before, but they're fabric labels. So great for kids, students, even for adults, I guess, if you want to write your name on things. And it's writable labels. Let me show you the size of the labels. They're 45 count. So I don't know how many sheets, but um, it has like two really large ones and then four of these um, regular size and then six of these and then three of the oval ones. So it says washer and dryer safe, no iron needed. So for a buck, I think that's really good to get all these. Um, other things, I found paper clips. I know, I know I can make these myself, but um, they're flag paper clips. I'm wondering what kind of material these clips are. So planner ladies, um, journal ladies, these would be awesome, I think. 
so let me see they had like I think four different pack designs but some were similar like this one I guess it depends but um, these are like let me see how to get these paper clips out um, so it has like a flat here that makes the it easier to put your um, clip on your no, your flag on and it feels like thick um, it's not like flimsy washi tape or whatever it's like thick um, it feels like glossy cardboard or something <laughs> but um, so it's flat so it's easier it's not like the curved like regular um, paper clips so and they're pretty big these are like the big size paper clips so these are the designs they had that I picked they had some other ones but I was like I'm gonna limit myself <laughs> and more stationary stuff but some things I did not limit myself <laughs> I found these I don't know I'm such a sucker for like embellishments so we have these flower ones and they had either a multicolored one a white one and I love this this blue one so 12 um, 12 count of these and they are stickers so I'm wondering if they're on foam or whatever let's take a look uh, so they have like a little square foam and it's sticky so but it's stuck on like a real smooth surface but there's no backing or anything to them except for like the little pop-up um, square foam so I got those they also of course had oh butterfly ones of course oh I ended up picking an extra white one but white ones are cool because you can miss them you can ink them you can make them any color you want ombre whatever right so another the blue one and they are kind of a little off in color some are darker and some are lighter um, but they have um, these pearls in the middle, just like the flowers. And then this is the multicolored one. And these are a 15 count. That's interesting. Butterflies. I thought butterflies are bigger. No, flowers are bigger. So those are 12 count and these are 15 count. And then, like I said, two of the plain white ones. And... Let's see, I needed some class envelopes, so eight in a pack. So these are the smaller ones where you can just fold up your, your um, it's not legal size, fold up your letter size thing and it fits perfectly in here. Or if you make big cards or whatever, it fits perfect. Um, next I got food. I found these bugles, we love bugles. But we usually get the plain, so this is ranch. And these are pretty um, good size. Let's see what it says. Size one. Oops, I'm gonna open it up. Sorry, Father Franklin. Ugh. So, bugles, um, 1.5 ounce. Um, so, it says big bag. So, um, three in a pack so I thought these would be great um, these are the nutritional facts and ingredients um, but I figured um, we could um, you know just do half for his lunch and stuff like that so we got that so I got two packs of them those. Oh, I ended up getting goggles. Um, I got these types of goggles, and then also there's another set, like the plastic ones that you wear in the science class and stuff like that in the lab. But I got these harder ones. Um, you never know when you'll need them, but we actually got the other ones. I got three of those because we got our son Aiden a Nerf gun <laughs> for his birthday and those things hurt <laughs> and I'm always scared it's gonna hit someone's you know um, shoot your eye out type of thing so we have those in to cover our eyes just in case <laughs> and then I did find these uh, Rimmel 
London, is that how you say it? Um, the Keep Calm and Lip Balm. So I only found these colors. This, where is it? I see it says Clear 10. And then this one says Pink Blush, which is 20. And then this one is Crystal Clear in 60. So these look super cool. Um, moisturize and hydrate. So this one, um, let's start with the 10. It says keep calm and shop. Um, the, I mean the 10, did I say 20? The 10 says keep calm and shop in clear. And then this one says keep calm and kiss in um, the 20. And then this says keep calm and love in the crystal clear. So those are the only ones I found. And this was like two weeks ago. So, oh, more food stuff. Ugh, I'm all about the junk, right? So, fudge covered cream wafers. Keebler, name brand. Don't those look delicious? What is it, fudge? Is it like a marshmallow or something? But fudge covered cream wafers. Should I dare even show what's in it and whatever? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel they're like little sticks. So there's one, two, three. Yeah. I guess this is like strips like that. And it says three cookies is one serving. Hmm. And then the books. I know. Um, you know me. I am such a sucker for cookbooks. So I found this, it was kind of like, ooh, is this like a thriller book or something? But The Snacking Dead, a parody in a cookbook. So, yeah. So let's see, Wings of Disaster. So they have like a whole story um, about it, but then they do have the recipe. So it's kind of interesting. I'm wondering how it'll read. <laughs> they have like, I guess silly stories and then um, that's going to stain. Um, so it looks pretty cool, but the pictures are, oh, I'm it's a sucker for pictures in cookbooks as well. So <laughs> there we go. Let me see if there's um, an appetizer for apocalypse, <laughs> for an apocalypse. So yeah, two, I don't know how good the story i mean the contents <laughs> table contents is as far as recipe wise but the recipes look pretty good so that's kind of funny and then um savory sweet life so 100 simple delicious recipes for every family occasion so the forward is by reed drummond the pioneer woman so it's not by her it's by alice cura um, Cara, but um, the forward is only by mm, banana cream pie. Who doesn't love banana cream pie? I love banana cream pie. Yes. Okay. So, so it has. Let me show you. So there's a flip through. They had coconut chicken tenders and it looks really nice. Um, let me see. So that is yeah. This is the table of contents. So these are like the um, occasions that you would uh, cook for. So that is my haul, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so lucky to find these are beautiful cookbooks. Um, to be able to find these. So, oh, this has like the snacks included. So, um, yeah, definitely just a few snacks. I'm trying to, you know, be good about that. And then a great you know, summer ideas for the kids, and also um, some stationary stuff, everything I love, and of course, the gloss. So, hope you guys are finding what you are looking for. I really um, don't know what's out there. I haven't been watching as many um, Dollar Tree hauls and stuff. I'm trying to be good, but I have been watching a lot of, like, instant pot, like, cooking videos and grocery hauls and stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see that I post a lot of my like um food pictures that I make, what I what's for dinner video, not videos, um photos. So I'm obsessed with my air fryer and my Instapot. <laughs> so let me know if you're interested in seeing videos of that.